Hello, and thank you for joining me. We are going to take a look at Under Armour Speed Skating Suit Crisis from the 2014 Winter Olympics. Join me as we take a closer look into the Mach 39 suits, a series of losses for the American Speed Skating Team, and Under Armour's Rock in Response. In case you don't already know, Under Armour is an active wear brand that delivers the most innovative sports clothing, athletic shoes, and accessories. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the Mach 39, a suit that Under Armour claimed to be the fastest speed skating suit in the world. The suits were tested for conditions that the skaters would experience in Sochi and were delivered to the team in January. The team practiced in the suits for a month in simulated race conditions and adjustments were made as needed. Can you guess what happened next? As the Winter Olympic Games began, no American finished better than 7th place in the first six speed skating events. The team questioned its strategies and came to believe that the Mach 39 had a design flaw that slowed them down. Several skaters sent their suits to an Under Armour seamstress to be modified and some requested to wear their old uniforms. Even though the speed skaters didn't come in first, Under Armour grabbed the gold in advocating for their brand and alleviating the crisis. Under Armour took immediate control of the situation and did three things to manage the crisis. First, they refused to act defensive. They made sure all statements reaffirmed their support for the U.S. speed skaters and avoided pointing fingers. Second, they put their executives in front of the media and maintained transparency. Third, they used their large support system of professional athletes to spread their message on social media. In turn, Under Armour announced an eight-year extension of its sponsorship of the U.S. speed skating team. Under Armour's approach can best be described with the two-step flow of communication model in which brand advocates influence the opinions of the mass media and a larger population. Overall, I think it is safe to say that Under Armour came out on top. However, there are a couple things that they could have done differently. Calling the Mach 39 the fastest speed skating suit in the world set a very high standard for Under Armour. Next time, they should reconsider making such statements in order to avoid creating room for negativity when problems arise. Lastly, after the spotlight shifted off of Under Armour, they should have taken the suits back to the lab for re-evaluation and hired a third party to check for additional credibility. Under Armour is a strong brand and will continue to strive towards helping athletes achieve excellence rather than backing down after a crisis. Created using Powtoon.